For the last 40 years, India has been looking for military aircraft engine technology for its light combat aircraft but did not succeed much. However, the search for military aircraft engine technology will soon end as USA-based General Electric has signed an agreement with India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to make fighter jet engines for the Indian Air Force. The agreement was announced amidst PM Modi's official state visit to the United States of America. But what's special about this deal and why it is so important? Before we know the reasons, please like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to the Money Control YouTube channel. First, only a few countries worldwide such as the USA, Russia, the UK and France have mastered the technology to manufacture advanced jet engines for fighter aircraft. Thus, these countries have been unwilling to share their technology with others including India. But this will soon change as the deal will allow the manufacture of GE F414 engine in India for the indigenous light combat aircraft Tejas Mk2. Thus, the agreement becomes path-breaking. But why does India need the GE F414 engine? What is special about it? As per the GE Aerospace website, the F414 engine has been used by the US Navy for more than 30 years. The engines are in the thrust class of 20,000 IB or 98 km and feature advanced technology such as full authority digital electronic control. Popular warjets such as Boeing FA-18EF Super Hornet and Saab's Gripen EF fighters are powered by F414 engines. India has needed advanced jet engines for decades. DRDO's gas turbine research establishment first worked to develop the GTX-37 engine for lighter combat aircraft. In 1989, the ambitious Kaveri engine project was sanctioned, multiple core and full prototype engines were developed, and hours of engine testing were done. Still, the engine was not suitable for the LCA. However, the deal between GE and HEL ends India's search for advanced jet engines. It also removes the tag of technology denial regime applied by the West over India.